Hello and welcome to episode 29 of Dwarf Fortress. Um, right now we are still fighting the goblin attack. And um, it's going pretty well so far because we over outnumber them by so much. And I believe there's three or so of them left. Uh, the crossbow dwarfs really are doing the majority of my damage because they actually have some skill in their weapon. And most other people are just trying to wrestle them to death. Yeah, that's two haulers we've lost and a bunch more injured. But, um, overall, the goblins are losing, just because they're, well, there's, just because there's so many. Um, and because of the crossbow fire support, which is actually a pretty big help. I'll consider it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the sword dwarfs are actually utterly destroying. Um, I'll sh probably show you one of those soon. But, yeah. They're doing pretty well. Because they have actual weapons, and they're steel weapons, so they just cut right through the um, uh, the goblin's armor, which is feeble as it is, but yeah, just slash, cut, just tearing apart muscle, bone, and pretty much everything. Also, and swords and axes are really good for just cutting body parts off. So um, I believe they cut off the right upper leg, and usually that makes them bleed, bleed to death pretty fast. Always nice. And I'm going to finish this wall, because it needs to really be built. But I'm not going to bother um, building it from, uh, or not, I'm not going to bother um, building it, uh, what can I call it? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, I'm not going to bother um, building it double wide, because um, I don't need a double wide wall. I only want a double wide wall. So, and it's not really huge. And yeah, right now, um, in case you're wondering why I'm building all these weird patterns, that's because there's um, a bunch of trees in the way. So, oh yeah, now I'm back. And uh, that's what the wall is going to look like, eventually. Assuming it ever gets built. And I'm actually going to tell you right now, the design changes a lot, and there's a moat dug around it. So, yeah, it, it gets a little bit bigger. But pretty much, that's where the wall is going to be, just going to be a little bit extended. And hopefully we can get to building that, because if we build that, then we're pretty much safe from all the attack. More or less. More or less, really, but... Ah. Hmm. Cat's missing. Yeah, probably got killed by the goblins. Yeah, also removing a bunch of these, uh... Stairs, or ramps, rather, not stairs. Um, from the, uh... From the set, like from the hillside, so people can't just come down from on top of us and, be, and just attack us. It'll be safer that way. So, because really, I only want to have one way to get in, because I don't need to leave. I just need to kill the attackers. I also need to make sure that the door is at least three wide so traders can make it in, but I'll probably make it at least five or seven wide, just to make it look a lot nicer. Um, but. Really, none too exciting right now. Uh, we have lots of prickleberry seeds, but not too many of anything else. We have like 125 prickleberry seeds, and everything else is just assorted like 20 or whatnot. Probably because there are so many prickleberries. Prickleberries, and uh, now my uh, trader is coming to trade, so we'll go do that in a second and see what happens. Let's see, yeah, I have uh, a few things that are worth a bit of money. Most of them are just rough gems, and then I have all this quartzite. All of it. Lots. Also have some, well, it's just really a sword stone, but most of it is quartzite, because, you know, I have a lot more of that, so, yeah. Oh, and then I brought in, brought those, uh, turkey hen roasts, so those will give me lots of money to buy pretty much whatever I want from this caravan because 19,000 is probably more than this caravan even has on it maybe see I'm gonna buy some of the oh by the way I thought that lizard cage was for a uh, like a big lizard it's not it's like a vermin lizard so it's kind of a waste I'm gonna buy all these animals because all the ones that I don't want to um uh, use I'll just eat or well, I'll have them butchered and then I'll eat them but Buying the wine. I'm gonna buy a bunch of cloth because I can, really. And, you know, there's not really there's a reason not to. So, yep. 
Um, and by the way, if you go if you go down if you you press the page down button and then you press the up arrow twice, you're automatically at the right spot for the next um cloth thingamajigger. Uh, the cloth uh, I forgot what's called cloth bin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, automatically at the right spot for the next cloth bin. So, um, yeah, I need to deselect the stone. And I'm buying the splints and the crutches because I'm going to need them eventually for a uh, hospital, but not yet. But I might as well start stocking now while I have the extra money. Because as soon as they put the roasts into barrels, I can't trade them to the elves anymore. And yeah, I'm not giving the elves that much profit. Because I want to keep as much of this stuff as possible. Not stone, obviously, but... Yep, there we go. Love aesthetic with the trading. Not like it really matters that much, because I only ever trade once, I don't do multiple trades, although I probably should so I could sell things for less, but, you yeah, know, whatever. Yeah, I'm giving people masoning jobs now, so that I can build my wall faster, because I kind of need to. I want to have it ready for the next attack, which probably means I have about three months. Because usually the attacks come during the uh, trading season, which means, which is another three months with the humans, so... Uh-huh. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah, I'm just checking all the injured people, like who they're related to and whatnot, just to know how bad it'll be if they die. I mean, not like it's really going to help me if they die anyway, but just so I can... Pilot, know. so I'm going to break off of them. And there we go. Okay, yeah, the militia commander is throwing a tantrum. But he doesn't destroy anything, because I think he might actually have some martial skill. Which is kind of bad when the uh, dwarves that can fight just decide to start killing people. Yeah. And the sword dwarf can never fight again, because he can't stand and he can't hold things. Which is, you know, kind of a problem when you're trying to fight. But only minor. Oh okay, yeah, in case you're wondering why it looks different now, that's because it's in full screen mode. This is what it looks like in full screen mode. Um, the drawers have little beards instead of just themselves. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't change anything besides the graphics, and that only barely, so... Whatever. And we're almost done mining up the next layer of gems. Uh, I probably should have started the gem layers higher. Yeah, the next gem layers I do, I'm going to do them higher up, like right next to the jeweler's workshop, so that um, it's not as far for the drawers to travel, so that there's less pathing time, and so it's just more efficient in general. Because when the game lags, it's not like it's um, actually like taking up more time, it's just going slower. So yeah, probably do them just to the left of the jeweler's workshop. And we've almost finished building all the tra cage traps. Not nearly all of them. Well, mm, or rather, not, almost, not almost, not all. You, okay. <sighs> we haven't finished building all the cage traps. There we go. We only have one left. We're almost done. Okay, I can't believe we just did that. That was really stupid. Blah. Scott Dwarf hath no job. You should be practicing archery now, I think about it. Uh, I don't know why he's not, but... And we have a new mayor. And we don't have very many good rooms, so I should probably build a new one for the mayor. Yeah, I think I'll go do that right now. So... I'm gonna start mining up this hallway, because this hallway is gonna be for the, uh... Uh, noble rooms, so... Yeah, eventually I suppose I need to make, like, a butcher's... Or not a butcher, a baron. Yeah, <laughs> ever so slightly different. Butcher and baron are a little bit different. I don't even know what I'm building. No, I don't, I don't know what that the heck that thing is. But, whatever. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.